Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please subscribe to our channel. Well, in this video, we are going to see about the Redmi 10A smartphone top 10 plus features. We have already posted a video regarding the Redmi 10A smartphone unboxing overview and its camera reviews also. Well, now in this video, let's have a look on its top 10 plus features, which will actually give you a better user experience on using the Redmi 10A smartphone after enabling these top 10 plus features. Well, now let's find out the top 10 plus features of this Redmi 10A smartphone. Well, guys guys now the first feature we are going to see is that uh, so downloading the MIUI version so for that first of all go to the settings option and after that uh, just to click on the about phone option and here just click on this MIUI 12 version so generally once you go to this screen so you have to just tap for uh, three to five times after that you will get your uh, additional update features are on so once you get this message just to click on this top right menu and after that you will see a download latest package so generally in the redmi smartphone so in case if any new update is coming means so that might be uh, unstable and you may face some lag issues like that in that case if you are already using a uh, one MIUI version something in your device means which is uh, already working good means so during that time you can just download that package because after updating a new update in case if you face some lag means you can easily go back to the previous version using this that uh, previous downloaded package so this is an important thing you need to do every time on each time updating your redmi smartphones next right from the about screen smartphone just to tap seven times on the MIUI version and after that the developer mode will be turned on so once you tap for seven times you will be enabled a developer version and after that just go back and go to the settings and go to the additional settings and then here is the developer option in the developer option so there is a lot more features you will let me show you some of the important features this is actually a budget segment smartphone so there might be a so some lag like that while actually loading some app icons like that so it is generally if you are long term using a budget segment smartphone means there might be you face some sort of delays so for this segment you can make some of the changes in the developer settings like just to go to the developer option and there here is a windows animation scale transmission animation scale and animated duration scale so by default which so all at 1x you just change all the settings to 0.5x which will actually give you a much more greater animation so that you can easily able to access fasterly and all the app icons will be loaded fasterly it will actually improve the performance a quite little bit and the next important settings we are going to see is that so this feature is a default feature only once you go to the wi-fi option in case if you are a wi-fi user means so and in case if you want to connect to a wi-fi means once go to the wi-fi option at the top right you will see that this symbol once you click on that it will actually shows a camera uh, it actually opens your camera and after that in case if some other user having that uh, connected with the wi-fi means so once you tap on that connected wi-fi you can able to find out your barcode and once you scan the barcode you can easily connect it to that wi-fi so no need to you have to put the password and one more thing is that so you have to keep this uh, barcode very securely and you no need to share this in public because on having this barcode using any third party barcode scanner you know anyone can able to decode what password you are actually given for your wi-fi so you have to keep your wi-fi sharing barcode securely don't uh, share in public so that is a one more important thing because uh, so there might be a chance of uh, decoding of your what password you are actually given to your wi-fi and so the next feature we are going to see is that on the lock screen settings just go to the settings option and there go to the option lock screen and here you can able to do some other settings like rise to wake up feature you can just on this and then double tap to wake up so in case if your screen is off condition means once you double tap the screen will be awake and also once you rise up the screen will be awake and then a glance of mi so whenever you are locking the uh, phone so you actually seen that um, some of the related articles like that so that is actually quite not good thing so you have to by default it will be on turn down condition so you have to turn off this so then only when you are actually lock means so there will be no recommended articles like that so that will greatly helpful for you on saving your mobile data and as well as the battery and the next setting is that how to enable dark mode so just to go to the settings display and here is the option dark mode so just to select the dark mode if you can, in case if you want dark mode means and by default it will be in the light mode only so these are all the things and you can also schedule the dark mode here so it is all important settings to make your eye comfort and next uh, feature we are going to see is that haptic vibration first of all go to the settings option and after that go to the sound vibration 
and here go to the option called vibrate on tap so whenever you are actually uh, clicking on the any menu option or home screen option like that you will feel that the vibration effect so that option is that vibrate on tap it's like a haptic vibration feedback like that so by default it will be medium so it will be uh, good for on uh, setting to the strong option and in case if you don't know it means you can also turn off so whenever you are clicking on that you will feel that vibration in case if you don't want means you can just go to this option and turn off but i actually set it this to the strong so it will actually give you a better experience so whenever i am clicking on some option it will give you some reference of i am actually activating that option like that and the next setting is the and next feature is a very important feature so whenever you are actually lock the screen so during lock the screen you can able to anyone can able to access that notification panel so in the notification panel they can easily able to find out uh, so what are the some messages are coming or what are the specific uh, uh, notification coming from uh, important applications like that so for that so during the lock screen you can able to disable the total notification panel itself so for that you have to just to go to the settings option and after that just go to the option notification and control center and here at the bottom here is the option item show on lock screen after swiping down just to click on that so by default all this option will be enabled notification shade control center like that so once it actually enabled means so so i'll show you how it actually works once you actually lock the screen and after clicking on this power button so anyone can able to manage that notification center so like this so in case if you are having an important uh, noti app notification or a message notification like that means so anyone can able to see that uh, so without putting a password also so for that we have to do now is that uh, so we are completely going to disable that notification panel so for that you have to just uh, disable this notification shade option and after in case if you are locking the screen so after in case after pressing the power button also the notification panel will never comes out but instead you can use that control center option here you can able to access that uh, mobile data and the wi-fi enabling bluetooth enabling like that but no one can able to access the notification panel itself so that your privacy will be more secure no one can able to access your uh, app notifications uh, or other sms notification like that you will be more secure so that's the thing so it is a very important setting and it's a very important privacy settings so please make sure to disable the settings and the next setting option we are going to see is that the control center option just to go to the settings and same notification in control center and here is a control center style so by default it will be in the new version only in case if you are not having that means in case if it is enabled with the old version means so just to enable the new version so the new version benefit is that by swiping on the left side so you will get the notification panel by swiping on the right side from the top you will get this uh, smart settings options like enabling mobile data wi-fi like that and smart devices also will be shown so this, these are all the some of the good features so you need to enable these options and the next we are going to see some of the option in the home screen settings so first of all go to the settings option and here go to the option home screen and under the home screen so generally in the home screen actually as you've seen here by swiping on the left side you will see some of the other uh, widgets option like that uh, weather condition and other stock market related details like that which will actually degrade your battery performance and as well as reduce your mobile data so for that just go to this uh, minus one screen so by default it will be in the app vault just click on the none option so that after that in the home screen by swiping at the left side so there will be no page will be shown so that you can able to save your mobile data and as well as your battery and the next feature we are going to see is that gesture option just to go to the settings option and after that just to go to the option home screen and here is the option system navigation just to click on that and here is the option gestures and just to select that in case if you want to learn means click learn and or else click not no and after that you can able to select that the gestures so here in the gestures option so you can able to do some of the things on using the gesture option it's really looks good so just to swipe from the bottom to go to the home screen and swipe from the bottom and hold for a second to access the recent apps and then in case if you want to access the uh, recently accessed apps means so i have just to open the messages option and then a google chrome browser so just swipe from the left or right in the bottom side so that you can easily able to access the different application like this so like this and one more thing is that so under the settings option so if you may select this option means for example just to go to the home screen and system navigation so if you actually hide this full screen indicator so if you enable this option means 
this bottom line has been disabled and during that time you in case if you want to switch between the apps means you have to use the other method you have to swipe from the bottom and after that so swipe in the left or right like this so this is how you can access the recent apps swipe from the bottom go to the left or right to access the recent apps so in case so this option for in case if you actually hide this full screen indicator means so for example this if you have this bottom bar you can use like this to access the recent apps and in case if you are actually hide the full screen indicator and if you hide this bottom bar means you have to use these options swipe from the bottom and uh, swipe left or right like that to access the so recent tabs and uh, next to on button navigation just to go to the same home screen settings system navigation just to select the buttons and in the buttons you can able to make some more shortcuts so after that here is a button shortcut just to click on that so here you will have your totally seven different function like a menu function power plus back power plus menu power plus home so like that on pressing both the keys you can able to set a certain shortcut so once you click on this option you will have a totally of a one two three six different shortcuts like take a screenshot launch camera or turn on torch like that so once you set any one of that so once you after that when you're pressing the power plus home button at the same time the torch will be turned on so like that you can able to customize the shortcut with this seven different functions using this button shortcut, shortcut yeah. Yeah. and the next so feature we are going to see is that so in the same home screen settings just to go to the settings home screen and at the bottom here is the option blur app previews so once go to the option means so you can able to blur the app previews on the recent application for example the camera has been turned on by default so whenever i am actually opening the camera means so after that in the recent application so as you seen here so in the recent apps all the apps has been showing the preview of that uh, application but the camera application preview has been disabled so like that in case if you are in your if you can, in case if you are in the public so if you are accessing that uh, recent application so anyone can able to see what is actually available in that particular apps so for example if you are using the whatsapp means what are the chats if you are using what are the contacts you are using on what text you are actually sent to any one of the person like that they can able to view using this app preview in the recent app section so for that only you can able to disable that using this uh, shortcut so just to go to this blur previews and after that uh, in case if you are using whatsapp means so in the uh, app settings you will see the whatsapp app just to enable that particular uh, application and also you can enable other application also so what are all the apps you need privacy so you can enable for that apps too so these are all the great privacy features you need to enable these features and the next feature we are going to see is that whenever you are actually uh, using your face unlock after unlock using the face you will see the option swipe to unlock so so after using the face authentication also you have to swipe the screen then only you will actually go inside the smartphone so for that in case if you want to disable that swipe to unlock that setting means for that you have to go to the settings option and after that just go to the face unlock just go to the password and security and after that go to the pause face unlock and put your password and go inside the face unlock settings and here is the option stay on lock screen after unlocking by default this option will be in the enabled condition so you have to disable that so once you disable this option so the after the face unlock you will not see that swipe to unlock screen you can directly go in on which page you are previously viewed so that page will be displayed and the next important feature we are going to see is that smart devices so for this we have to go to the option called settings and there go to the option called notification and control panel and here is the option smart home so by default it will be in the none condition just to turn on this to the home condition and after that it is a great feature in case if you are using a wi-fi and you have a multiple devices connected to that wi-fi you are using a smart devices like smart tv and smart speaker like that so i am using a google nest mini like that means so once you go to the notification panel so here at the bottom you will see a smart devices so here i am using an office speaker and flipkart tv like that so these are all the devices which is actually connected in the same wi-fi network so once you click on the smart devices so here you can uh, find out the what are the available devices and you can add the devices just drag and put that add the devices here 
so once you click on the devices you can able to cast the audio for example i am using the google nest mini so i can able to cast the audio in my smartphone to the google nest so once i have actually done that so i can able to so what are all the videos i am playing so all the audios is, will actually stream to that smart speaker so it is a great thing is that in case if you want to communicate something means and in case if you want to play some of the audio to your uh, smart speaker or smart tv means so you can able to do that also you can able to play a video also so in your smart tv so and the next feature you are going to see is that uh, just to go to the settings option and after that go to the option uh, passwords and security and here is the option emergency soc sos so it's a very important setting you need to enable in case you, so if you are in your family you will have a girls like that means so you have to enable this settings in her smartphones because it's a very important setting because so there will be any uncertain situations means so during that time if she actually press the power button five times means the emergency sos will be activated so the emergency once you actually enable this emergency sos it will actually it will actually ask for a, a one emergency contact so that contact will be linked and after that once that emergency so is actually activated means so for that contact so current location and the messages and all the details will be sent automatically once the emergency so is activated by them so it is one of the safety and privacy feature so this is a must enable feature. feature and the next feature in the redmi 10 smartphone is that it's a new feature just to go to the option settings option and after that go to the additional settings and here is a memory extension by default this option is be enabled only so in case if you don't want means you can disable that so this is a memory extension so using this memory extension it actually uses a 0.5 gb from the storage and it will be act as a ram memory so you will this smartphone is actually comes with the 3gb ram means once you enable this feature so then the smartphone will actually works up to 3.5 gb as a ram memory so once you actually enable this feature so there is some little bit of performance has been increased after you know, turning on this option on the app processing like that well overall now these are all the top 15 plus features of this redmi 10 new smartphone and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and let me know what your favorite features in this top 15 plus redmi 10 new smartphone let me know in the comment section below and that's it for today video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys